Right. Code Forces has just introduced Div 4, which are supposed to be uh, easier contests. So let's take a look and see how, how the problems are. So here's the first problem. What's going on? Uh, we have a positive integer if it has a bunch of zeros at the end. Uh, ah, all but one is zero. Yes. As the sum of round numbers. Okay, well, we just need to uh, include you know, each digit except for the zero digits. So it's just the number of non-zero digits. And that's like the only possible representation. So fine, so the number of test cases, that each test case is n. And that's it. Okay. Just reading the number of test cases. And then for each test case, we need an n. IO stream to read import and do output. Um, if you'll need using namespace std, so we don't have to write std colon colon everywhere. Using ll equals long long, 64 bit integers. Okay. Um, so, what's the output format? Uh, the number of summons and then the summons, okay. Seven, six, seven, eight, nine, or I guess nine, eight, seven, six, fine, ten thousand, ten. Okay. Uh, so let's try this. We have some kind of C plus plus. Column A. Accepted. Cool. Uh, so what was going on here? So for each test case, we need an N. And this is going to be the answer. Uh, and so basically a round number here is just like a digit, right? It's a single digit followed by some number of zeros. So the only way to form n out of round numbers, or at least the uh, minimal way to form it, is just to read off the digits essentially, right? Like 9876 is 9000 plus 800 plus 70 plus 6, right? That's, that's what it means. Um, 
you know, 5009 is 5000 plus 9. Uh, so for every non-zero digit in the input, uh, you get one term corresponding to that um, in the output. Uh, and the number of terms is just the number of non-zero digits. Uh, maybe, anyway, um, so how do we actually code that up? So we have our output vector, um, and then we go through the digits of a number. This is a good thing to know how to do this. Um, so while the number is more than zero, grab the digit and then divide by 10 so that next time through the loop we'll be looking at the next digit. And also we're keeping track of um, sort of which place we're at, right? Initially we're at the units place, and then after one iteration of the loop, we're at the tens place. And after another iteration of the loop, we're at the hundreds place. And every time we advance a place, we multiply by 10 to represent that. Um, and so if it's a non-zero digit, uh, that means that we do want to include it in our sum. And so we push back you know, that digit and this many zeros on the end. Right, that's another way of thinking of P10 is how many zeros we have at the end, starting with zero. And then every time you multiply by 10, you get another zero at the end. Um, and so this is not necessary. I just did it to double check that you know, we actually did, can reconstruct n using the numbers in a, which is what they want. Um, so then we just need to print out a, right, just how many terms, and then for each term, print it out, um, and put spaces if we're not at the end, right, if it's not the last term, and otherwise put any line. Uh, so that's the first call.